आईडी फॉर्म मोल एंड फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कंप्लीट मोल द कंप्लीट मोल इज मोस्ट कॉमन फॉर्म एंड प्रेजेंट इन सेकेंड ट्राइमेस्टर सीरम लेवल ऑफ एच सी जी दैट इज ह्यूमन कोरियोनिक गुनेडोट्रोफिन कॉन्टिन्यूज टू राइज आफ्टर फोर्टीन वीक्स ऑफ जेस्टेशनल एज इंस्टेड ऑफ कमिंग डाउन टू नॉर्मल द यूट्रस इज डिसप्रोपोर्शनेटली इन लार्ज वेन कंपेयर विद द वीक्स ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी इफ विजैनल ब्लीडिंग टेक्स प्लेस इट सजेस्ट दैट देर मे बी स्पॉन्टेनियस अबॉर्शन ऑफ द मोल पास्ट हिस्ट्री ऑफ मोलर प्रेगनेंसी इंक्रीज द रिस्क ऑफ फ्यूचर मोलर प्रेगनेंसी इंक्रीज इंसिडेंस ऑफ कोरियो कार्सनोमा एंड परसिस्टेंट ट्रोफोब्लास्टिक डिजीज दैट इज इन्वेसिव मोल आर एसोशिएटेड रिस्क विद मोलर प्रेगनेंसी ग्रॉस अपेरेंसिस ग्रेप लाइक क्लस्टर्स ऑफ वेजिकल्स विच कॉरस्पॉन्ड टू सोलन कोरियोनिक वेलाई एंड द एंटायर स्पेसमन अपीयर्स टू बी इन्वॉल्व माइक्रोस्कोपिक फीचर्स ऑलमोस्ट ऑल वेलाई आर एबनॉर्मली इन लार्ज दे आर राउंडेड एंड शो सिस्टिक डायलटेशन हाइड्रोपिक चेंजेस टेक प्लेस इन द वेलाई वेलाई आर विदाउट एनी वेसल इन द सेंटर irregular diffuse circumferential proliferation of trophoblast can also be seen in perivillous region absence of fetal parts and no nucleated red cells are the main features immunohistochemistry hcg diffusely positive plap positive in sensitive trophoblast positivity for p53 in complete moles due to proliferation of cytotrophoblast focal positivity for p57 cytogenetics first the monospermic complete hydiform mole you can see that the sperm with 23x fertilize an ovum in which loss of maternal chromosomes either before or after fertilization has taken place with the result there is duplication of paternal chromosomes has taken place then diaspermic complete hydatiform mole in which there is loss of maternal chromosomes are lost and there is fertilization by two sperms either both of them are 23x or one is 23x and other is 23y with the result the diaspermic complete hydatiform mole is either 46xx or 46xy now there is another condition which is diploid by parental complete hydatiform mole in this condition the sperm contains either 23x or 23y chromosome and the egg contains 23x with the result after fertilization there is either 46xx or 46xy but there is a mutation of nlrp7 gene which accounts for recurrent hydrity form mole in about 55% of women and in this condition there is production of a protein with reduced function or prevent production of any protein at all as a result oocysts do not develop normally complications around 2% of complete molar gestations are followed by corio carcinoma there is also increased evidence of invasive mole in subsequent pregnancies treatment complete evacuation by curettage and followed by monitoring of serum hcg levels should be monitored for 60 days in which they should come down if level continues to rise chemotherapy is indicated now this photograph shows gross appearances of 
complete hydatiform mole in which there are variable sized grape like structures which are actually chorionic villi with hydropic degeneration now this microphotograph shows microscopic features of hydatiform mole in which the chorionic villi having loose odometer stroma without any vessel or nucleated red cells and there is hyperplastic proliferation of trophoblast which can be seen around the circumference of the villus and also in the perivillus region